For this unusual Bloomsday, I would like to do a socially distanced reading from Ulysses by James Joyce. What parallel courses did Bloom and Stephen follow returning? Starting united both at normal walking pace from Beresford Place, they followed in the order named Lower and Middle Gardner Streets and Mountjoy Square, West. Then, at reduced pace, each bearing left Gardner's Place by an inadvertence as far as the farther corner of Temple Street, North. Then, at reduced pace, with interruptions of halt, bearing right, Temple Street, North, as far as Hardwick Place. Approaching, disparate, at relaxed walking pace, they crossed both the circus before George's church diametrically, the cord in any circle being less than the arc which it subtends. Of what did the duumvirate deliberate during their itinerary? Music, literature, Ireland, Dublin, Paris, friendship, woman, prostitution, diet, the influence of gaslight or the light of arc and glow lamps on the growth of adjoining paraheliotropic trees, exposed corporation emergency dust buckets, the Roman Catholic Church, ecclesiastical celibacy, the Irish nation, Jesuit education, careers, the study of medicine, the past day, the maleficent influence of the pre-Sabbath, Stephen's collapse. Did Bloom discover common factors of similarity between their respective like and unlike reactions to experience? Both were sensitive to artistic impressions, musical in preference to plastic or pictorial. Both preferred a continental to an insular manner of life, a cis-Atlantic to a transatlantic place of residence. Both indurated by early domestic training and an inherited tenacity of heterodox resistance professed their disbelief in many orthodox religious, national, social and ethical doctrines. Both admitted the alternately stimulating and obtunding influence of heterosexual magnetism. Thank you.